Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Redefine Tomorrow 2022 Global Conference. This is our third year in a row now that we organize this event, where I invite uh, the best of mind to come and speak on the DeFi topic, where we'll hopefully be learning a lot from the experts themselves. This is, in a way, a very timely event. Uh, we are facing a lot of challenges in the industry today, so hopefully a lot of talks and discussion today will inspire a lot of actions that we'll be able to do and we'll be able to strengthen the DeFi community as we come out from the crisis. At SCB 10 Next, we are thrilled and honored to be organizing this event. Uh, we certainly hope that you know who we are by now, but certainly a little bit of introduction. SCB 10 Next is a venture capital and innovation arm of SCBX here in Thailand. Our focus is venture capital investing as well as venture building in disruptive technologies. Our areas of focus are blockchain, digital assets, Metaverse, Web3, and of course, DeFi. We have the pleasure of working with many of you in the room on the panels, as well as the partners. So we are through an honor for that. Uh, and this is our way of contributing back to the community as well by organizing an event like this. And we certainly hope you'll be finding it uh, useful and insightful. So in terms of DeFi, I think this is also a very challenging time for us. And in a way, I would call this is our first true test for the community. Uh, we are facing arguably a perfect storm. We see global economic headwinds. We see rising interest rates. We see inflation. We see looming recession, uh, geopolitical conflict, and also, of course, the setback that we are seeing in the community, many attacks and many unfortunate incidents that we are seeing in front of our eyes. So it's therefore not surprising to see setback in the adoption of DeFi in general. As you can see on the chart here, by most measures, you would actually see a significant drop from uh, what we've seen just six months ago. We also hear stronger voices from the critics, right? And these are, I like to think of it as uh, constructive feedback, uh, where we should actually reflect and think about how we improve uh, overall. We need to be able to convince ourselves and then convince the world that DeFi and crypto indeed have a space in the future for the future of finance. But at the same time, there are also bright spots. From the activities that you've seen, you start to see regulators and policy makers around the world are coming together and start to understand uh, the power of technology, the power of DeFi, the power of crypto better. You start to see frameworks, you start to see regulations that are supporting innovation, but of course, at the same time, uh, balancing out the risk management. You see commercial adoptions in many areas, such as DApps, DAO, also Web3, which is actually coming quite strong in terms of venture capital uh, support. That's a good sign, and that would probably be our strength coming out from the crisis that we are facing right now. So overall, I would say, you know, in a way, I, I would also say that um, the setback, the crypto winter that we're in right now is a blessing in disguise. Because sometimes when the market is overheating, uh, sometimes discipline is a little bit too relaxed and you know, the consequence is what, what we've seen. So here is a good time for us to reflect, to think about what perhaps need to be improved in order for us to come out even stronger after the crisis. So in a way, what we're hoping to do is that in this conference, we'll be able to see a lot of good ideas and inform together an industry view for us to be able to then build on and then come together and pave a way for a healthier and more sustainable development of the DeFi community. So as for this event, we actually have quite a bit lined up over the next two days. We have over 30 sessions. We have over 70 speakers and moderators lined up. A lot of topics have been curated, so many interesting topics that we'll be talking about, but the team actually has organized it in such a way that we will try to condense only top of mind topics to be shared over the next two days, such as uh, you know, crypto winter, how are we gonna come out of it? What's the future of NFT? What's the future of metaverse? What about DAO? And all the way to topics such as cybersecurity and risk management, which is of course becoming top of mind issues for many uh, regulators as well as many players in the industry, as well as consumers who need to be confident that things will be okay in the future. So once again, a big shout out to our speaker and moderators who set aside the time from the BC schedule to be with us. And also thank you to the audience for hopefully be spending time with us for the next two days. And together we'll be to have enriching uh, dialogues that will help pave the way for the DeFi community going forward. So thank you and have a good conference ahead.